Today's video is about the Proton X50's intelligent cruise control. I'm going to demo to you how to activate it and show you how the steering input works and how the car adjusts when another car comes into your lane. So check it out. And if you're looking for super good discounts on your next Proton purchase or the X50 itself, come to Proton 3 Center Satyala, mention my promo code hashtag TITCXProton and you can get super extra deals there. So enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to demo it now. So what you're going to do, you don't always need a car in front of you. Like uh, you can just do it uh, with nothing. It's like normal cruise control. Uh, consider it like that. Just going to make sure it's not blocking any cars. That's a nice looking forester. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go to the middle lane. So this is like how you'll be cruising like normal. I'm doing about 70. So you press this button here. The uh, top left. Press that. And then you'll see a little set KMH uh, symbol over here. Then the small toggle switch. You push it downwards. It'll say set. And then now you're set. So now I am set at 77 and you can see here that it's detecting there is a vehicle on my left which there was a lorry there and then it's keeping an eye on the lane that's why you see the blue lines here so if I let go the steering now by right it should make sure I don't stray so if I'm going a bit to the left so do you see that? Do you guys see that? I was not touching it this it's adjusting uh, it is adjusting the steering for me so that it stays within the two white lines and there so it looks like after 10 seconds if you don't hold the setting it will give you a warning to hold the setting and if you still don't hold then it will deactivate the system because that is to make sure that you are still in touch with the whole driving experience you don't just let go and sleep off like that this is because this is a level 2 autonomous driving car it's not level 3 or level 4 where you can completely let go and let the system do its thing so i'm going to demo the setting thing again so i'm doing 77 maybe i can pick up some speed or so because we just push it up right yeah. so you just push it up so you see it down here, set it up to about 83 and then let go the steering. You can see the curve here. Yeah, you can see the road has a little bit of curve. See, I'm going towards the line there and then it just adjusted. Yeah, do, do you see? Look at that, my hands are out. It's all input by the car itself. After 10 seconds, you have to hold. So the steering has a torque sensor. So the moment you put your hand on the wheel, it knows that, okay, there is a human holding the wheel. So then it like adjusts everything for you to make sure that you are still in control. You don't let the system handle by itself, get carried away and then the car will just start driving around by itself. So make sure if you guys are doing, don't do that. So you want to deactivate, it's very easy. Like any cruise control, you just press the brake. Press the brake or you just press this button here and then it'll straight away deactivate and you're back to normal, absolutely normal driving. So that is a very simple demo of the ICC where you have steering uh, input and speed input. Now next one, we're going to show if we can hook the radar to a car in front of you so that whatever speed you do you are still behind the car in front of you so you can adjust the distance here as well so let's see if we can demo that a couple of cars here maybe i can get behind a van which will be safer and then let's you can set it at 80 and, uh, 80 ah, okay. and then just behind the car the right. so let's say now i'm doing 95 so i set it at 90 but then I turn into the lane where there's a car not doing 90 in front of me. Look at that. It detects there's a vehicle in front and it is slowing me down. I'm not touching the brake. It's slowing me down to 80. Alright, so my foot is off. I'm only going to hold the steering to keep the torque sensor. So now the car has moved off. So now the X50 is going to pick me up to a decent speed to match the car in front. So now there's no car in front of me. Look at that. The van is leaving. So now it should detect there is nothing in front. But since the guy is using two lanes because he pay more road tax than this, Okay, okay, you see now it's clear. It detects that the car is on the left, there's nothing in front. So I don't need to hold the steering for now. And then it just does the job. Because I still set it at 89. So it'll go back up to 89 peacefully. Until it detects the car. So let's say, okay, I'm holding the steering. And I go back into this lane. It already detects that there's a car in front. Okay, that was interesting because I turned too fast maybe. So now it detects there's a car in front. And then it's slowing me down. Even though I set it to 89, it is slowing me down to match the distance I set with that car. And that distance you can control here with this button. This is to further distance, this is to shorten the distance. And you can see that here in the symbol. It's like one car length, two car length, three car length, that kind of example. So that guys, is a very simple demo of the ICC system. So that means this car would make your highway driving quite a lot more peaceful and it's kind of a nice gimmick as well uh, because it's fun to see the car just a steering for you but it's important that don't forget you do have to keep your steering input always present 
do not let the car completely go and just don't care about it you have to pay attention so because this is only a level 2 autonomous car so be safe enjoy the gadgets because the gadgets are there for you at such a affordable price because there's no other car in this range which has this kind of system like that is definitely for sure and not to mention this is only available on the flagship and thank you guys for watching more x50 videos coming soon